video, we're going to be going over the lead grid section in your Gator Leads part of your single sign-on. The lead grid section is where you can see all live leads that are clicking on your website. We organise this via date range. You are able to view the lead grid via today's date, the last week, for example, this month, or a custom range of up to one year. You're also able to see who is on your website at that point in time by clicking on show live feed. In a previous video, we would have spoken about lead bands, the hot chilies, the mild chilies, the cold ones. And you can see, we also see these, these bands here. We break the lead grid table up into different tabs, different sections. Um, for example, any new leads, cookie contacts, any competitors that are coming on your website, any customers. In order for you to place leads into these categories, if you click onto the assign to button next to the lead on the grid, you are able to set the lead type and then it will move it into that appropriate tab. Any lead that we take on the lead grid in our eyes is a new lead until you go in and assign it to that specific type. You're also able to assign the lead to multiple sales users and add any notes to this lead. For example, try to call, not answering. You can filter your lead grid via UTM values. If you'd like to see how a certain marketing campaign is going or a certain social campaign is going, you're able to filter via the UTM medium, for example. And then that will bring up a list of leads that have come onto your website via that UTM. You're also able to filter the lead grid via new leads, as you can see this next icon here. If you click onto it, it will show you all the new leads that have come onto your website in the date range you have set. Any new leads that come on, we do mark as green. And any returning leads um, that have been on prior to the date range set, we will keep as grey. Here is where you can refresh your grid if you've been onto it for a while. I want to make sure no new ones have been added. Click on to refresh. And you can also export and download these leads to a CSV if you need to. You are also able to click into a lead and view exactly what they've been looking at. Here, we break it down into website visits. You've got total score versus date score. Total score is their score over all time. Date score is their score in the date range that you've got set. Here, you're able to see their top 10 page views and their last 60 page visits of all time. And you're also able to see, if not organic, where have they come on from, what UTM. We break the lead up into campaign and keywords from certain referrers. Bearing in mind, Google don't tend to give keywords, so you may not always get an actual keyword. It might just be um, not supplied. Here you can see we've got one here. And you'll be able to see the referrer. You're able to see any e-marketing cookie contacts, and you're also able to view the company and people profile information. You also are able to assign and set leads within the lead itself as well. If I go back to my lead grid, we can also filter the lead grid a little bit more. So it doesn't just have to be via UTMs or via new to versus returning leads. We can view them via category or we can even view them via rating. So for example, I'm only interested at the moment in warmer leads because then I can go in and maybe nurture them, see what they're looking at. You're able to search for leads within the search bar here. However, this is only leads that have come onto your website via your date range. If you are wanting to search a lead that you've got in your mind that you want to contact, but you're not sure if they've been on for the last few days, you can do a global search here. This global search allows you to enter in this, this lead's name and then you can go in and have a look at what they've been looking at. So as you can see, you've got your ratings, your company, if there are cookie email, as you can see them here, and you've got their last visit date with their date score. So this is all displayed in the lead grid, which obviously you can go in and dig a little bit deeper. Just again, making sure that you're assigning them and setting them as competitors and customers, etc. This can all be found under Gator Leads in your single sign-on and the My Leads tab. Mm -hmm.